Next, we head to 2J in the Wheat Belt region of Western Australia. We've brought you a sneak peek of this amazing Hamptons farm estate before and revealed the whole home in Ready Set Reno. Now we are lucky enough to dive deeper into some of the heritage aspects of the build with Natalie Bowen. We are here at the Hamptons Farm Estate today and I'm so privileged to be able to show you through everything that we did in this incredible renovation. This story started in 1860 and it's a fifth generational beautiful little cottage that was built by my husband's fifth generational great grandfather. He came in off the boat from Ireland and we had the privilege of purchasing this land to really bring this beautiful little cottage back to life. One of the things that I love about these old, beautiful homes is that they actually evolve into different spaces as their families used to grow. So originally this space was actually uh, a kitchen and the reason that we knew that was that there was an old hearth that was on the floor. It then actually evolved into a bedroom and this actually used to be the bedroom of my husband's father's <laughs> okay, I'll start that again. And this was actually my father-in-law's room where he and my mother-in-law had their first two children, which is my husband's sisters. They were in this room until they were about two or three years old. And so the memories that this actual room created is actually quite amazing. So it was only natural for us to even convert this into an older feel room. One of the things that we kept in these spaces was the original architraves around the doors and the windows. Again, this was a reminder and for us, it was a way that we could actually keep in keeping the beautiful spaces and that gorgeous heritage feel. One of the amazing things in this home is that we have these extraordinary height of ceilings and that gives us such a vast feel of the, you know, the coolness that it created in the spaces and the way that they used to live back in the 1800s. This room is one of my favorite rooms. It has evolved like the rest of the spaces. It was originally the dining room. As they built a kitchen or extended the home, there was a kitchen that then was served food into this space as a dining room. I remember that my husband's um, father used to tell me that he also remembers uh, great grandfather sitting in here on a beautiful old chair in front of this exquisite fireplace. One of the beautiful things that I love about this room is that this is the original fireplace and I'm just so in awe of how beautiful these stunning gloss bricks are. This is absolutely original um, with the beautiful pinks and the stunning navy blues. All that we did to try to enhance this was actually build a little bit of a architrave around that to actually bring all of the looks together. Even this little mantle was the same. We even found this old poker that they used to obviously poke for the fire um, that we used to roar in here. It's incredible to me that these spaces, when they were built, they had such foresight in being able to have high roofs to really, again, have it cool in a summer and then warm in the winter spaces with beautiful fireplaces. We absolutely did not want to touch this. We wanted to keep it in its true original state. It's again, one of those areas that you do go to and it draws you to with those gorgeous colorways. The stories in this space uh, of when Mark's father was telling us of the memories that he has sitting in here with his dad um, and his brothers and sisters is just amazing. They looked out the window at the fields and you know the memories that were just evoked when they came back at the reunion were just incredible. Um, you know, so as a bedroom, this really does have a lovely feel to it. And it's actually the bedroom that um, our, one of our daughters has actually picked after going into all three she said this one had the most beautiful feel to it.
So this room originally used to be the family lounge room. So it's a little bit larger than the other two rooms that we've seen. Again, we've kept the original mantle, which I just think is extraordinary that, you know, this is actually what was here in the 1800s. The other thing that's really unique about this space is that we've also kept the original ceilings with the original rosette that you see up on the roof. One of the things I was very clear on on doing this renovation is that I really didn't want to have to touch what I didn't have to touch. I wanted to keep it as true as the space itself so that again when people were able to come back and reflect and remember they would be able to think oh yeah I remember that, I remember this fireplace, I remember the ceiling. The other thing that we did do in here, um, as we have did with most of these rooms, is that we've tried to keep the walls as uh, old and as natural as possible. So we didn't, um, you know, have them smooth. We wanted them to have that original rustic plastered feel. We did paint over the top and we just added in some wainscoting around the walls to again bring in the rest of the renovation together. It was one of the hardest spaces for me to think about whether I turned this into a little sitting area or whether I did actually put it into a bedroom space. But you know, we have three beautiful girls and we have now three beautiful bedrooms that each of them can actually love and enjoy and spend their time and create their own memories from now more generations to come.